cloud, following the implementation of your program, it will estimate that the economic growth will reach 5.1 percent in 2018 and 7.1 percent in uh, 2019. These numbers were presented by the IMF after it's. I would like to note that it's getting in rich mineral resources. There are over 1,170 million deposits of uh, 80 different minerals in Mongolia. The predicted reserves for coal is estimated with 175 billion tons and iron ore with uh, 11 billion tons. Moreover, 36.3 million tons of copper, 250 million tons of oil, 5.9 million tons of zinc, as well as 1,619 tons of gold reserves were proven. Mongolia is currently ranked in the, the ninth place with the coal and the fourth place with its copper reserves. The Tauntola mine alone has an estimated 7 million tons of coal reserves, of which roughly 3 million tons are coking coal and the rest are of high quality energy coal. A couple of years passed since Mongolia announced itself becoming an oil producing nation. I would like to draw the attention of potential foreign investors that various, the southern and eastern parts of Mongolia, have been relatively well explored. The central and western parts of the country are basically have not been geologically uh, surveyed. Ladies and gentlemen, every businessman and investor prefers to operate in a strategically favorable environment where the political and economic policies are precise <coughs> and st stable. Unfortunately, due, due to the instability of policy and decisions, some investors' rights were restrained. And because of uncertainty, some of the business plans had to be delayed or postponed. <coughs> in this connection, investors repeatedly expressed their concerns and comments to the previous government. Our previous government had a plenty of resources, namely foreign currency reserves of 4.1 billion US dollar, 580 million US dollar portfolios of reserve bank, 1.5 billion US dollar from Chinggis sovereign bonds, as well as more than 600 million US dollar from Samura uh, sovereign bonds. Therefore, the economic hardship is not caused by lack of money. Instead, inadequate policies brought us here. Now we fully understand and comprehend that sound policy, responsibility, and discipline will lead to the success. Just money alone uh, couldn't make a uh, <coughs> success. Right policies and money together constitutes, constitutes uh, success. There is an ancient Mongolian proverb saying that learn from your genius and mistakes equally. We will put our best efforts to keep the green light on foreign investors in the business community and really strive to avoid switching it to red again. Not we avoid switching it to red again. We will prove once again that Mongolia is one of the best destinations for business and investors. Our government will protect investors' rights and interests rather than deceiving and driving <coughs> them out. Hence, the Council for Protecting Investors' Rights has been established with the Cabinet Secretary. Let me reiterate once again that the government of Mongolia will keep your trust protect your legitimate interests and support and cooperate with you in accordance with the relevant laws and regulations. Ladies and gentlemen, mining is a priority sector for the cooperation between our two countries. We are pursuing a stable policy to develop and strengthen the cooperation in the mining sector. We are working on new draft of the law on mining in order to make the legal framework of the mining sector clear and coherent for investors to overcome some 
unregulated relations and to reduce bureaucracy. The government of Mongolia is working to remove all policy failures in decisions that led to the current economic downturn and to recover favorable investment and business environments. We are also taking concrete measures, policy decision, decisions and reforms. The Minister of Mining and Heavy Industry and the Minister of Environment and Tourism together with the Mineral Resources Agency are working on to resolve the issues of suspended mining licenses. More detailed borderlines will be worked out for affected areas under the so-called law name law in the interest of the respective license holders. In this context, a memorandum of understanding on cooperation has been signed between the Minister of Foreign uh, Minister of Mining and Heavy Industry of Mongolia and the Department of Foreign Intelligence Trade of the UK in December in, in 2016 in London in order to successfully implement this MOU and auction for the year 2070 has been launched. The Minister of Mining and Heavy Industry of Mongolia intends to attract foreign invest investments in the non-traditional field of oil exploration. Particularly, in order to in intensify oil <coughs> exploration and attract more investments, preparations are underway to announce international open bid for product sharing agreements over some exploration blocks. Petromarket Limited Oil Exploration and Producing Company is the first substantially Mongolian oil <coughs> company to be listed on the London Stock Exchange, which used to cooperate with Rich Gas Group, uh, according to a farm out agreed prior to its acquisition by Shell. I would like to underline that there are more potentials of further cooperation of this sort. I would like to inform hereby that the UK Department of International Trade has agreed to support adequate mining and infrastructure projects in Mongolia by granting a loan from the UK Export Finance Agency. The Mongolian side is currently conducting a study of preconditions and regulations of the UK Export Finance Agency and will propose prospective projects timely. Let me highlight here today the oil for oil projects, project which Rio Tinta delivers successfully in Mongolia. It conducts sustainable production for the last four years and contributes substantially to the country's development. It will be mutually beneficial for both sides if oil flow operates in full capacity upon finalization of the underground uh, mining development. Underlining the fact that oil flow worked with 900, 990 domestic and foreign suppliers in 2016, I would like to note that company conducts open and transparent tender and there is a great potential for rich investors to collaborate on supply of goods and services as well as the development of local <coughs> communities. The negotiations on conclu uh, concluding an agreement to develop the town total coal and the absorbed gold mines are underway. Given the large amount of investment and financing issues <coughs> as well as long-term nature of the projects, negotiations are a bit delayed to ensure the basic principle of mutual benefits, but the talks are set to complete shortly. The government approved the Gold Tour National Program, the seamless <coughs> policy to boost the investment of exploration and production of gold. With the successful implementation of the program, the nation's gold production will steeply increase by two and three tons annually and set to reach 25 tons by 2020. As of today, only 9.6% of the total area of the country is signed with exploration licenses, aiming at attracting more investments in the exploration sector. The licensed areas will be doubled, covering 20% of the total area. I would like to highlight that the investment opportunities uh, in Mongolia lie not only in the mine sector. There are great potentials in other sectors, such as agriculture and tourism. 
Mongolia has just those uh, 3 million inhabitants, but more than 16 million bits of livestock. Thus, the government of Mongolia gives a special attention to the agricultural sector development by promoting intensive livestock farming in the urban areas, creating a logistics network, attracting more investments, introducing advanced technology to produce value-added agricultural products and facilitating the export opportunities to develop the life industry sector. Please take note that there is a wide range of opportunities in this direction. I hope that discussions in today's business forum on potential cooperation in minerals and mining sectors as well as investment, construction and cooperation of subsectors will be especially impetus to, to the advancement of large scale projects and improvement of ties between the business communities of our two countries. Lastly, I'm confident that the distinguished representatives of respective uh, companies in private sectors, investors and scholars present here will be will bring forward numerous important proposals and solutions for mutually beneficial cooperation to reach our common European interests. I would like to wish the best success to your business and investment in the US. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much indeed, Mr. Davison, for that very comprehensive and detailed account of uh, the policies of the Mongolian government. You mentioned uh, the embassy and you mentioned the Department of International Trade. I noticed a couple of people here from the embassy there are probably more. Can I just ask from the Mongolian embassy, could you, I can see Ariane Sana and Sort and Jill, could you stand up just so people know who you are in the break? Is there anybody else from the embassy uh, here? Uh, uh, yeah, he's in this one, Jill, he's here. And, uh, anybody else? Who, so he, Yes, indeed. So we've got, we've got a number of colleagues here who, if you want to follow up any of the points, and we've got one or two people as well from the Department of International Trade here this morning, I think, haven't we? Because uh, we, post-Brexit, we're, we're after trade deals across the world. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, yes. So, uh, and, uh, yeah, and Dean and Mark are there as well. So we've got a number of people. Could you stand up just so people know who you are if they want to speak to you in the break time? Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Uh, so moving on now, and the good news is the IMF uh, have arrived as has uh, Gordon Dickey uh, from I Am Power. So, uh, and they're all having a very good breakfast, I think, yes. as we speak. So, but welcome, welcome, gentlemen. I, I uh, thought I we, could creep in quietly. You, you creep in quiet. uh, no, 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 no you, need, you need to be announced. Now, uh, we're now moving on to, because we heard a lot uh, from the State Secretary about Tammy Bongoy, and uh, which uh, uh, part of the, at least comes under Adens Mongol, which is an extremely important state holding company. Raphael is a senior advisor, and uh, uh, very grateful for you coming to London today. Uh, you, you, know, you know London well, a frequent visitor, but uh, a warm welcome, please, to Raphael. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, so that is my presentation. Is, that is good. Uh, so, first of all, Excellencies, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank John Bergrogan for the invitation to come to London, flying quite over to Europe, and uh, he said, well, you have to schedule a time when you fly to Europe to be attending this event. So this has been a long haul uh, plan, and I'm very glad to be with you uh, today. I started basically uh, <coughs> uh, to deal with Mongolia in 2010. Uh, when I came the first time, we supported uh, as a consultant different uh, companies to enter. And I always say the most difficult thing with Mongolia is to come the first time. Uh, so the first time I came to Mongolia, I said, what I will find there? But the first time I said, okay, that's worse to come back a second time. And I've been uh, for the past seven years, more or less seven months in uh, Ulaanbaatar. Unfortunately, not to, uh, I have, I still need to do tourism in Mongolia. I never had the time, so that's my uh, part done. Uh, and there are fantastic things to see. And in last summer, I was basically uh, asked uh, through the ADB to uh, uh, support uh, uh, the development of uh, Erdenes Mongol through uh, capacity building uh, program. And that's quite interesting because in my life, I had several experience of uh, capacity building, but it was always the same story. Uh, it was a story of a uh, state-owned company that was sold by the state, 
and uh, where the state wanted to say, okay, we don't know to manage appropriately this company, so let's find a strategic partner. And, uh, <coughs> two things, money for the government, it was uh, by the disposal 